Yes. Well, welcome back. Time for <laughs> the fastest seven minutes on television. Three political stories, seven PDQ minutes, one piquant host. First up, what? Democrat what? piquant. Democrat <laughs> Allison Lundgren what? Grimes is running for Senate against Mitch McConnell Somebody in Kentucky. <laughs> is she lying to voters? Look it up later. To voters about her support for the state's coal industry. That's what some of her own campaign workers say. They were caught on undercover camera. Watch this. You can't be a statewide politician and condemn coal. You can't. You're not going to win. So she's saying something positive about coal because she wants to be elected. Right. Uh, and in the state of Kentucky, if you are anti-coal, you will not get elected, period. End of conversation. <laughs> you think she's just up there lying? Well, I mean, I really don't think her heart is 100% in backing coal. Right. But she has to say she is because she will not get a huge number of votes in the state if she does. All right, KG, I'm going to send it to you. I mean, some of the, there were several of them. We only had time for a couple, but there were yeah. several, and the, it was a common theme. She needs to say what she needs to say to get elected, even though she probably doesn't believe it. Well, isn't that politics today? And I that's guess. what everybody knows. That's why there's such dis dissatisfaction and low poll numbers when it comes down to people's belief and trust in politicians. That's why some of you have saying, listen, I'm not going to listen to, um, you know, what's going on in D.C. or listen to those people, the other politicians. I'm just going to listen to you directly, be responsible to the voters. That's who I'm going to be own up to. What's your problem, Bob? Uh, I have no problem, but I, I don't, I've done a lot of Kentucky politics. I don't know of a single politician in Kentucky or West Virginia hasn't hoard out to uh, coal for because you have to. They're very powerful. They got a lot of money, and of course, she she probably doesn't believe in everything they do. But they're going. So you don't go have alone. a problem with it. If you were advising, you'd say, "Oh hell no, I don't have a problem it. with it." Actually, if I told Sling candidates it. in Kentucky, even though they don't like coal, love it, love coal, love it. Dana, uh, at one point, one of the <laughs> these advisors or operatives said um, that the Kentucky voters are stupid. Well, that's not going to help. That's not, <laughs> not going to help. Bob, um, Bob, you want to say anything, Bob? Uh, so I, I, I know we've got really a senator think? from Kentucky here, but let me put it this way. Um, there's uh, they, some of those places, they don't have all their dogs are not under the porch. Okay, just so you can just run that over and over again, Democrats. Um, look, I think the wholesale destruction of the coal industry is something that has uh, is an issue that deserves a lot more attention. Um, and I think President Obama in his last two years will not do anything to try to help the coal industry and it is being decimated. What we really need, I think, is a revamp, a responsible understanding of the benefits of coal and the ability for us to Who's be more responsible it? when it comes to the well, environment. We do need it. Can't do that. Who's going to do it? Can we get, sure. The, uh, the, the world's deadliest environmental issue, and I'm talking in the world, bigger than anything, is indoor air pollution. Three and a half million people die every year from burning dung, twigs, and cardboard. Three and a half million people. You really people. talk about this. <laughs> no, because it's important. you got to get this because, stuff out of your house. Yeah, because... There's no Leo DiCaprio. There's no Al Gore. There's no, there's no environmentalist, aside from Bjorn Lumberg, who's talking about this, that the savior that could save three and a half million people is those little black rocks. Right. The oh. ones that we demonize. Right, where wait, people demonize. are dying. Those guys are making more go. money than they've ever made in their lives. Good for them. Uh, they, they, they made me make sure I get these, all three of these topics in.